basically our role at the minute is helping on our mainline train which you can see behind us. We would take care of customer service, platform uh, duties etc. We also do tour guides. Here we're also tour guides so we do tours when the museum's open on Thursday, Friday and Saturdays. This was a uh, new build but it's to replicate what a signal box uh, would have been like in yesterday year. It shouldn't do too much resistance okay. but that should work. Okay. Okay, go for it, Ricky. Ready, go for it, Ricky. Great. Ah, and does not bad. <laughs> How'd that feel? It felt good. So I could join. You could be a Whitehead Willoughby Museum volunteer, Raisley. I could I could come over on the boat on the trains and then I could pull some signals and then go home again. <laughs> right. Robin, while we're here, we feel like you might be a good person to ask. So we know that the gauge, uh, both in Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland, is five foot three. Uh, why is that? Originally, they started building railways in Dublin at the same time they were building railways in Belfast. So the, the, the railway in Dublin was put by an English company and it was four foot eight and a half. Seemed quite sensible. The Ulster Railway meanwhile, being contrary, it built it uh, five foot six. So they, somebody realised when these two lines eventually meet up between Belfast and Dublin, there's going to be a problem. <laughs> so they got a Major General Pasley, about 1849, who did an inquiry into what they should do. He came up with the magical solution of splitting the difference and we ended up with five foot three which uh, was a bit of a bugbear for the Irish railways because everything had to be bespoke. Although we can bring carriages over and re-put new bogies on, uh, that does work and we have done that here because we have some XBR carriages okay. among our collection. But everything uh, made life much more complicated for the Irish railway companies. Here we do have some of them that are ex-British rail, like this one for example. This is actually used to be a first class compartment coach. This one here is actually is uh, ex-Northern Ireland Railways. This would have been used on the Belfast to Dublin route. The third company that donated, that donated carriages to us was this one down here, which was an ex-Irish ex Rail CIE coach. Um, so th these coaches would date from the 60s and 70s. And uh, we currently use these on our mainline trains that we run today all over Northern Ireland and sometimes in the Republic as well. Uh, but what we're looking at here, the red brick buildings, the yes. water tower and the locomotive shed, they're both 1907 and still very much in use. We've, got a, we've added and added to this site. We came here in 1966 and we've now got a heavy lift area, carriage shed, uh, cranes, a little diesel shunter. Over here we have um, a County Donegal locomotive, a three foot gauge and it is awaiting a bit more of a, a makeover and that's going to go back to Donegal town okay. and uh, it, so it's called Drumbo and we've had it here for a few years. Okay. Uh, looking down into the shed we've got uh, our ex CIE GM down here, 142, and we've got uh, it, the tender is that of 131, okay. which is a steam engine that built in 1901, uh, operated until 63, was withdrawn, and then the parts kind of went, uh, it was on display for a while, the parts went away, then it all came back here in 2003. So inside the museum, and it tells the, the, the history of the railway, but also the social history um, behind the railway too. Robin, you were just saying that in this old photograph here, you've got a picture of the staff, but, it, but the sign for the station says, Whitehead, stop here for Blackhead Path, schoolmaster's bedchamber, and for ages you weren't sure what that meant and, yeah, that's right. until the couple So now then to... I was doing a tour guide around here one day and uh, there were a few local people and uh, this lady said Bed schoolmaster's bedchamber, oh yeah we remember that name and it turned out it was a cave on the Blackhead Path. Um, why was it called the schoolmaster's bedchamber? Because a local school teacher was so uptight at the end of June, uh, this is presumably in the, in the 1800s, he used to take himself off and stay in a cave for the whole summer. So we find um, that, that message is, you know, the social history, quite an, it's an important element of Whitehead Railway Museum yeah. and uh, with, without the support of Heritage and Lottery Fund and Tourism NI, we couldn't have this museum here. So we're, we're still in the museum and this display here with this wonderful model um, pays homage to the Enterprise, um, which we've ridden on, which started back in the 1940s and is the only line um, in Ireland Northern Ireland to retain the same name for all those years. That was the incredible railway museum here at Whitehead. Uh, come down, take a trip on their steam trains, their diesel haul trains, have a cup of tea. Uh, you might even see me pulling some signals. Bye!
turntable. <laughs> 